So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD and welcome to the first few steps of the main easter egg for Der Eisendracker. This is going to be the main easter egg quest and in order to start this you're going to need to have all of your bows upgraded to ultimate upgraded bows of each element. If you don't know how to do that you'll find a link down below in the description where you can get your hands on all of the bows with easy to understand guides on how to upgrade all of them. Now these are the first few steps, these aren't the complete steps, as we work it out I'll be uploading updated steps and I'll also have a complete guide once the easter egg is finished. But if you enjoy this, make sure to smash that like button and leave your support, leave your thoughts down below and let's jump into it. So once you've gotten all four bows upgraded, you want to get out the Ragnarok DG4, make your way up to the very top of the bell tower and place the Ragnarok DG4 down. What this will do is actually cause thunder and lightning to strike the bell tower actually powering up a lever on the bottom floor of that which actually the time that the clock displays usually the clock is frozen on 115 but now the clock will be continuously moving and this little box in the bell tower actually allows you to pull a lever which can stop the clock face from ticking and freeze the time on the clock. Now like I mentioned the clock is frozen on 115 but once this step has been done the clock will be freely moving on its own and you actually want to get the clock to be frozen on 935. Now the timing on this can be quite difficult so make sure to test this out with the players that you're playing with in order to get the clock to be stuck on the right time. Preferably you want to have someone by the controls to be freezing the clock and someone to be watching the clock face outside so that they can tell them what time it is. Now, there are quite a number of clicks per every five seconds shown on the clock so it's easy if once you've gotten onto a certain time such as 10 past for example you can count how many ticks it will take for it to get to 15 past, 20 past etc. Keep trying this and eventually you will get this down. Now you need to get the clock to be frozen on 935 exactly it can't be on 934 it can't be on 936 it has to be literally bang on 935 once you've managed to get this to actually appear and 935 is frozen on the clock a thunderbolt should strike the aerial next to the clock and you'll hear some very strange noise and if you make your way down to the underground section of the map you'll notice that the triangle in the middle of the room now has a weird floating orb this orb will actually allow us to time travel and the way this works is once anti-gravity has been enabled down there when you hear a thunder strike you want to look at the ground and look on one of these little steps and then jump up onto the walls one of these little weird panels that you will run on will eventually teleport you to this weird room and it's actually the teleporter room but from the past Everything is black and white and a lot of the stuff that's arranged in there is different to how it is in the present time And you actually want to be looking around to find a plunger on a table The plunger is situated on a desk table to the right of the main teleporter And you can see this quite easily It's stuck down there with the like suction pad firmly on the table With the actual handle sticking up in the air And you've got around about 5 seconds or so to go in there once you've teleported and pick that up. From this point onwards all players in the game should now have a plunger as their melee weapon. Now at this point onwards we aren't too sure what the next step is. This is where a lot of people are stuck on. Now there's been a few suggestions to actually melee the plunger uh, in the sink area in the teleporter both in the present and the past. That hasn't worked. There's just a ton of theories flying around but none of them are working. But I'll have a link down below in the description to the next series of steps as soon as the use of this plunger is figured out but you can change the clock time again to 935 and teleport back to that room but I feel like they wouldn't make you go back there once you've gotten the plunger as the main purpose of going back in time is to simply pick up this plunger. Like I mentioned make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can find the next steps in this easter egg I'll be sure to update you guys as soon as possible but if you found this video useful make sure to give it a like rating and subscribe and I'll catch you all next time.